let's get into one of my favorite subjects, which is shopping. No surprise there. <laughs> Are there any thoughts around how to save creatively with shopping? One of the things that I like to remember when I'm shopping is that there are a lot of tricks out there that stores use to make you think that you're saving. When you see a buy one, get one half off offer, or when you hear that if you spend a certain amount, you'll either get free shipping or a free gift, or if you spend this amount, you'll get a discount. You know, those can be great in certain circumstances, depending on what your needs are. But when you start trying to achieve that, you know, spending threshold or that amount threshold to be able to get you know, sort of like that good, like gratuitous prize when you're shopping, that's not going to help you save. A lot of times it just convinces you to spend more. So you have to really be watching out when you're shopping and when you're looking for the right deal for you, because it may mean ignoring those coupons that require you to spend more. It may mean, you know, ignoring some of those deals that they're going to ask you about at the register. Like, oh, did you see it's buy one, get one half off? And you'll be able to confidently say, oh, no, that's not for me, but thank you. Like, I don't need two pairs of denim jorts. Like, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> um, so, you know, being confident to make those decisions, like sometimes it requires doing a little bit of mental math when you're there in the store to figure out if you really need to get that extra thing or spend that extra money. But you should always be looking for those, those tricks that are trying to get you to spend more.